this is the peacock. In case you can't see under all this garland, it is a peacock and it has a clock, hence peacock. Now the clock doesn't work, it's never quite worked, and uh, we've had it up for decoration here for a few years. It was a gift from a friend of mine, Pastor Galgard, as he was about ready to go to Africa to serve as a missionary there, and he was giving away all of his possessions, and somehow this is what I ended up with. So it was here on our wall for several years, and a few years back we were decorating for Christmas. I had an extra string of Christmas lights and I wasn't sure what to do with them, so I just wound it around the peacock for the extra decoration. We had a few ornaments left over, so we added those too, and it became then a holiday decoration and not just something on the wall. A few years later, we decided not just to decorate the peacock for Christmas, but for other holidays and seasons throughout the year. So after Christmas, we took all the Christmas decorations down and we decorated it for Valentine's Day with little red hearts and more garland and red lights. We also decorated it then for St. Patrick's Day. We had Easter eggs up there, which we just took down a few weeks ago when the Easter season concluded. And now it's in the festive patriotic mode for Memorial Day, Flag Day, Fourth of July throughout the summer. In the fall, we'll put up some leaves and make it look uh, more autumnal. And then, of course, we'll put the Christmas decorations back up sometime in Advent. Now, there are lots of holidays we celebrate with our families, with our friends, with our, with our country. Uh, there are holidays we celebrate at church, too. Sometimes they're the same. We may celebrate Christmas and Easter both at home and at church, but there are some holidays that are just church holidays, like we had Pentecost a few uh, weeks ago. That's not a uh, holiday we tend to celebrate outside of church. So when we start Worship 101 this Sunday, we're going to start by talking about time in the church year and the church holidays and how we decorate, especially all the different colors we use for the different pyramids and other church decorations that connect with the holidays. So I hope you'll stick around on Sunday. That's in just two more days. We're going to start Worship 101 right after church. Starting around 10 o'clock, go half an hour, 45 minutes or so. It's going to be an interactive experience. We'll learn about the church year, the church calendar, the holidays, all of those things as we get started. So again, hope you'll join us this Sunday.